Welcome everyone back to another Clash of Clans video on the channel. Today, guys, is a very, very big day. I'm actually uploading this video a lot earlier than my usual video. So usually I'll be uploading around, you know, 8, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This video should hopefully be going up around 11 or 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Guys, very, very exciting. So I'm hopefully going to be uploading a little bit early for a little while, but very very, very soon it's probably going to be going back to a later upload schedule but as always I hope you guys do enjoy today's video so let's hop right into it I know yesterday I was talking about this but we were on the road to upgrading our Town Hall 11 to Town Hall 12 now guys it's a 9.5 million gold upgrade we have 9.583 million gold we're gonna upgrade our Town Hall guys or at least start it and it's a 14 day upgrade so Let's get it started right there and bada bing bada boom the town hall is started now we are waiting on a few more things to finish upgrading the grand warden the barracks are times two the archer queen and of course the town hall so once these other four things are completed the archer queen the two barracks and the grand warden we're of course going to be working on a couple things around the map first thing I want to do is point out I'm going to start a new upgrade tomorrow in the laboratory because I'm hopefully going to get about 9 million elixir saved so I can actually begin on the clone spell. Now I really want to get the clone spell for when we're attacking higher level bases but even before we do finish upgrading our town hall to level 12 there are still a few things that I need to finish upgrading. For one we need to finish this cannon over here in the corner. This little guy he's only a level 3. We need to also work on our archer tower. This is a level 5 archer tower. Sitting on the outside I'm really hoping to change the entire direction of my base. That's going to be starting very very soon because I'm going to hopefully be going to a completely new defensive base setup. But for now guys this is the base setup that we're working with until I finish all these upgrades and once I'm at level 12 town hall that's when I'm also going to be getting a few new things. A new hidden tesla, I believe another inferno tower. So guys a lot of new stuff coming with the town hall 12 upgrade. But of course, let's go check out our builder base and see what's going on over here. So on our builder base, guys, it is very, very low level. We are a town hall or a builder hall, I should say, level eight. Meanwhile, we have all these things up here to finish upgrading. So much stuff to still upgrade and not enough cash. The one thing that I don't like about the builder base is you're only allowed three attacks in a day that you can win. If you don't win three, of course, you can go an unlimited number of times per day until you do win those three attacks. And based on where you are in your league, basically, you're only going to get a certain amount of dough. Basically, golden elixir. And I don't agree with that because it's such a slow process, but we are slowly but surely working on it. Right now we are upgrading our Mega Mine. We're trying to go from the lowest up to the highest. So the least expensive is going to be these four mines right around the map. We're gonna be working on those next, as well as upgrading hopefully our minions very, very soon. It's only a 3.5 million elixir upgrade, so not terrible. We're hopefully gonna save that up in the next few days and we'll get this new minion started because this Baby Dragon is going to be ending in 17 and a half hours. So by tomorrow, guys, hopefully I'll have three and a half million elixirs saved. But now that I'm done talking about what the future upgrades are going to be, let's hop right into a match and I'll see you guys when I'm there. Wow, guys, would you look at that loot? Oh my goodness. That is a really, really awesome amount of loot. I'm actually going to take a screenshot here really quick. Alrighty guys, bada bing bada boom. So we are trying out a completely new class setup as well. I know I've been using only baby dragons and that was probably getting really, really boring for you guys, but we're trying a completely air setup. So the problem I already noticed with this base isn't the inferno towers, isn't the crossbows necessarily because they are both out. What I'm looking at is the air defenses. And because this is a purely air attack, this is going to be a bit of a struggle for me, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in both of my Lava Hounds, follow that up by a whole bunch of Balloons, follow it up at the top by the bait, um, the Dragons, and then I'm also going to pop a couple of Archers along on the outside. Oh, that was a bad placement for both of those Archers. Alrighty, maybe not. We're going to go with the Minions to kind of sweep up some of the Extras. Witches up top. And these Archers, I'm actually going to save, see what I can do with them because I might be able to do something with them in a minute. 
I'm very, very excited though, because this is a lot of loot, guys, and we are getting pretty good so far with it. We've gotten probably about 600,000 gold and about 500,000 elixir, but we are still getting the elixir as we speak. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to place my six archers right down there. And I'm going to place my Barbarian King right here by this gold uh, collector in just a moment. I do want to get that 50%. I want to see if they can get it without my help. There we go, boys. 50%. Got the one star. And we're going to just go for it with the Barbarian King. See if we can get this gold collector really quick. Now that we got it, we're going to end the battle. 838,000 gold. Oh my goodness, guys. That is amazing. But right now, I don't really care about too much gold. I care more about the elixir because that is what I'm going to be using tomorrow in our lab video. So guys, like I said, that's something I don't really care too much about right now. But I still want to get, of course, about 9 to 10 million elixir. But we do have another class set up for you guys. I'll show you really quick before we go. We have one golem, six wall breakers, five pekkas, 37 archers and 14 wizards. This is actually a class setup that I've used for many, many years, and I'm gonna see how well I can do with it, so let's hop right into another match. So this is a map that I'm definitely going to try in two star. I believe I can get it. I'm not actually going to go for the loot at all on this map. What we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna pop a uh, the golem right down here at the bottom, have him do some, uh, you know, some tanking damage, basically. Pop down these pekkas right over here, Follow it up by a couple of the archers just to get rid of some of those buildings a little quicker. We are also going to want to get some wall breakers in there. Break through that first set of walls if possible. Oh, the archer queen though, taking them out. Alright, we're going to throw in a whole bunch of archers over here. Follow it up with a rage spell. A couple more wizards. Wall breaker, wall breaker. A couple more archers. We should be able to get at least the 50% guys. I'm very excited about this one. Alrighty, come on. Heal spell. Oh no, we lost it. No. Alright. There we go. Rage spell. Rage spell on the outside as well. We did get the 41% so far. One star with the town hall. We're definitely getting at least the 50. And like I said, guys, this, this was not a good match. But I was mostly going just for the two star here. I didn't care about the loot. I'm going to let these Pekkas up at the top do a little bit more damage. Get me a little bit more elixir. Anything does help in the long run. These Inferno Towers are multi-targeting, uh, so I don't really care about them too much. Ah, took them all out. Alright guys, I will say that was a horrible, horrible match. I hate that class setup now because I used it wrong. That's purely on me, I don't actually hate the class setup, it's purely because I used it wrong. But this is what we've got to actually complete with the active challenges. We have to destroy six more Eagle Artillery in multiplayer battles. We've already killed four of them. We have to win multiplayer battles with balloons. And we also have to destroy ten Inferno Towers. Really, we only have seven left. I'm also going to try and join a clan very, very soon. See if I can't donate the 25 housing space because that 50 points right there will definitely help me towards getting more rewards and getting me to the end goal of this book of heroes. Guys, a lot to work towards in the next couple of videos. I'm very, very excited and I hope to even, if possible, gem the town hall so that we can immediately get started on some new upgrades. Guys, as always, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I love you all. Have a great one. Peace.